This is the Iron Man Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Collection Iron Monger Series Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes, otherwise known as the War Machine or the Iron Patriot. Before we begin, here's a quick look at the packaging, as you can see. It doesn't say Iron Patriot. Patriot. It just says it says his name, Rhodey's name, Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. And here is the rest of the assortment. It's interesting. They've actually put the original War Machine colors. Uh, as part as the artwork is Hasbro hinting that they will do a variant. I hope they do, but I doubt it. Um, here is the sheet. Sorry, lamp. Here's the instruction sheet that came with it that form to help you build the Ironmonger, as well as a little bit of info on who Rhodey is. So, folks, here is the figure. It is glorious. It's a glorious looking War Machine Iron Patriot figure. But as far as War Machine figures go, I think this is still tops. I think the Iron Man 2 War Machine is still the best War Machine, uh, in my opinion, out there. Um, but this guy's not a far second. This guy, by golly, is glorious. The colors on him looks like the paint was done by Takara. I mean, if you're a big Transformers fan, you know what I'm talking about just an amazing amazing sculpt uh, let me just get him out of the pose so we'll talk more about roadie anyway the figure God, stand up the figure comes with the left arm of the iron monger build a figure and he doesn't come with any other accessories, no separate, set, uh, no extra set of hands, um, no other guns that came with them. This is the only accessory he has. It's a removable, his, his Gatling gun or his cannon. Um, you can plug it here or plug it here, and you can have him store his weapon that way. Or you can plug it here and then display it this way. It feels like there's other articulation, like here and here, but there's none. The only articulation there is is the peg and this hinge, as well as this swivel. And that's it, which is fine. I mean, this the detail on, on the gun is great. I mean, just the, the armor alone, to me, is enough for you to buy this figure. It's a great, great figure. Paint apps, again, as I said, is fantastic. Look at all the detail uh, it has. It has Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes and all the war machine details about him. The, the paint is, is metallic dark blue or indigo with some metallic reds here and there and some silvers. I, I think it's accurate. I think it's very movie accurate. After seeing the movie, I, I thought it was pretty accurate. Articulation on the figure, I've already talked about the gun. The, head is on a ball joint which is also on a hinge which is great he has a ball jointed upper torso ball hinge shoulders uh, and this one moves up and down the pads uh, got a bicep swivel double jointed elbows at ratchet ball hinge wrists um, he's got a ball hinge hip which is actually a GI Joe hip which is nice he's got bite he's got a bicep a thigh swivel double jointed knees which ratchet and ball hinge ankles unfortunately the ankles don't have rocker joints which is probably my only complaint with this figure had they given this one rocker joints easily a 10 out of 10 for me uh, but as it is it's a great nine and a half out of 10 for me I think they could have added more weapons to him maybe molded more here or here or added separate pieces to be attached it is war machine or the iron patron in fact and the rocker joints but you know that's just me nitpicking overall the figure is a phenomenal figure and i think i think it is easily the best figure in this series if you're a big war machine fan iron patriot fan movie iron patriot fan you've and you love the toys you have got to pick up this figure it is amazing and what's great about it is it's not short packed in the case of eight you get two ultrons for wave two two ultrons two uh three mark 42s and three uh, roadies. So there you go folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been the Iron Man Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Collection Ironmonger Series Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. Thanks for watching.